I am in love with law of non-resistance. I've been studying this and I've been actually doing a lot of reading, which is kind of related to the subject. Being one with God, having your inner power, having your self-love, self-deserving. Um, it's been a really, really amazing journey. And I think I've discovered so many things which I wouldn't teach two months ago. I feel I'm growing so fast and I like it. And it's the speed, the universe loves speed. So literally, you know, like we all love growing fast, but I sometimes feel like the physical body kind of has to catch up with all the growth. And why I'm saying about the law of non-resistance, what resists persists. I should know who said that. <laughs> um, what I was thinking, guys, is when you sometimes, it doesn't matter what you do, whether it's your growth or whether it's your um, partner, your colleagues, your work, your children, whatever you do, how much we're rejecting. And I've said this before, there are stuff we have to reject and stuff we accept. So it's we stay in control and we do. I still agree with that. However, I'm kind of thinking about, you know, the ladder. So when you're climbing a ladder, you need to go, well, you, you're going up. You don't need to go up, but you are going up because you're growing and expanding awareness. Now think about this. Um, you have to take a step. You can't just literally reach out higher than the length of you or, you know, you, you can take few steps at the same time, which we call quantum leap, but you cannot just go all the way up immediately. So there is a certain process of you going up and it's the awareness, level of awareness you're at. And how we, when I was thinking about this um, non-resistance, um, you know, we rejected. This is like the stages where you actually do not accept something that doesn't serve you. However, even rejecting creates a little bit of resistance. So, you know, when you're feeling super happy and joyful and, and do, anything you do should have a process of joy. So I was thinking about this this morning when I was swimming and somebody said to me, oh, you're here every morning and I love it. I really love it. I have a joy and I'm doing my, my I am affirmations. I really enjoy that. However, somebody said, oh, you know, I just don't like coming every day, but I'm, I have to. Why do you have to? You don't have to. If you're actually there, not enjoying it because it ticks the list of a must, it's not really a process of growth. So do it three times with the super enjoyment and the other two days do something else. And it's the growth on the ladder as well. So basically what you need to do is just let go, relax, allow to feel amazing, allow not to resist, just, just feel it. And you will see that that non-doing, which actually when I was told, I remember when we had this discussion with my vibrational buddies and when they said, well, be still and do nothing and i thought no i'm so super active i just need to do something it doesn't feel that i'm getting results by actually being still doing nothing well i will reverse that and three months later i know i know now that actually being still being one with god with the source having the shift shift thinking which changes your vibration and moves you up and things are happening to you amazing things start happening to you and with non-resistance they just keep coming and you just enjoy them and i'll see you tomorrow